first of all we will do how we can install FortiGate firewall in VMware workstation okay if, do, if you don't have VMware workstation you can download trial version and I will provide you the key to register it so you can go to Google suppose if any of you don't have type VMware workstation download in Google go to the first link either second any okay and from here version 15.5 click on this one and you can download uh, for window if you are using uh, Mac Mac, um, Mac operating system then there is also a version of VMware which is called v uh, VMware Fusion I think so VMware Fusion VMware Fusion yeah this one so for both I have the key suppose you are using Mac so you can use a fusion to download and I will provide you the key if you already have so no need of anything second thing we will need the image the image can be downloaded from support 14.8.com website which I mentioned here but you can type in Google support 40 gate so it will take you to this website let me type in Google as well for you if you type in Google support and type 40 gate either 14 it both is okay with company name either with uh, firewall name so come here and create your own account okay it's very easy just it will take only two three steps to create your uh, own account and you can log in and download okay so it does not require any support contract to log in and create and download the images it's okay anybody can do just need to create an account and download the images so let me go there to show you okay so here is a download okay so if I say from where images so it will ask me the username to log in okay so create your own account and log in with that one I'm already logging by the way if it is not then it will ask you so just create new it will show you here and when you create an a new account you can come to download from where images and here is the product select product so they have 40 manager 40 analyzer persis logs 40 manager to manage many devices but the one which we need a 40 gate which we discussed yesterday and this is the select uh, platform for which platform you need so right now I need for VMware so VMware can be seen in this one under this one VMware EXI click on that one okay so it will show you the latest image 6.41 6.24 and earlier version which is the old version the one I need a stable one is 6.24 okay now there are two type one is to upgrade from previous version and this one is new deployment of 40 gate so keep in mind you need this one because we want to deploy a new one the other we will use later in the course so I say new deployment and this one is the name VMware because I choose here VMware workstation and download click on this one and it will be download 58 MB so just click on that it will download and we will go further so I download this one new deployment I choose from here 40 gate new deployment this one uh, choose the way because this slide is old so in that time I do 622 but now we have uh, 4 to this one so it's downloaded okay so when it's downloaded uh, you have to unzip because I'm using IDM so it will download on my compressed uh, folder but in your case it should be in download folder so let's go to download folder okay and compress so this one is the this one is okay anyway but I only download and rename it so that we know which one is the so OVF okay OVF means open virtualization format which is for VMware just unzip it you can use any unzip uh, the, the one which is same as if I'm using is a free version so I will say extract with the same folder name so it will extract it so it's here now okay so these are OVF okay open virtualization format the one file the file which I need to open it is this one okay vmx net.3 now go back what I need okay so I unzip this the file which I need to open it 
and VMware workstation. I already opened VMware workstation, which I told you if you don't have, you can install by next, next, next. Click on open. Okay. Go to the download folder, which we have in my case is in compressed. And this one is the OVF permit and choose with the number uh, VMNet3 OVF. So it will open it. Uh, accept the license and next okay give them any name suppose I will say 40 gate 6 suppose give them the location in my case I will give them D location because I don't have space and C location and I have a VM folder so I will create a new folder with 40 gate 6 okay because it's 6 version is 6.24 but anyway so I give them this name uh, 40 anyway I give them a wrong name so let me go back to D okay and go to VM okay and let me rename it for T gate 40 gate 6 okay and okay so this the name and click on import button it will take maybe uh, one to two minutes to import it. It's depend on your system. So it's come up now. Don't change the memory because by default it's limited memory. You don't have a license, full license. So you can use only one GB memory. Processor also you cannot change them and also the hard drive. But they have so many interfaces. We don't need such interfaces. You can click on edit. Either you can click on any interface okay it will open the details for all these interfaces so the first one we will use for management purpose just keep it uh, as a bridge it's okay either you can make them net second one we will use for net means for internet so make them net the third one we will use for lane so let me make them as a lane segment okay and the fourth one let's create them as a DMZ so I make them host only and I don't need these interface just remove it remove 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 you can add later on as well if you need it so the first one is the keep in mind this much one is my management interface second one is even you can use the first one for management and as well as for the when also you can use the first one is for the management and for the lane but anyway I say this one is management second is the internet one when interface and this will play a role for my lane and this will be play a role by uh, DMZ suppose if we need later on in the course okay and for any other purpose we can use them okay let me delete this one as well so only four interfaces one two three four these are enough for us second thing in VMware especially you have to go to option and there is a VMware tool time sync is off you have to enable this one synchronize, synchronize guess time with host host is my system so it, it will synchronize the timing with this device you have to enable this one and okay okay and press power either from here anywhere you can and from here as well it's up to you okay so till it started so what we done we import this file okay then we accept the license then we give them the name and uh, put the detail okay then we remove the interfaces we just put the interfaces the first one is the uh, and also we synchronize the time with option and then we uh, on this one by default username is admin and there is no password but you have to reset first time the password the password is blank okay which we will come now so let's see it will take some more time okay uh, in VMware there is a small issue when you come first time it will not give you the license so we have to reset them with uh, execute factory reset command so anyway let them start so we will uh, on them and then we can use this command either by uh, GUI we can see get system status so if it is get the license then it's okay 14 day trial license 
okay that's it and then we can check our interface by command show system interface either diagnose system ip both command we can use we can set the static ip but forget about static ip we will do later on okay and then we can uh, ping them suppose if it is pingable or not from my device we will see that one and then we will type the same ip by default on first interface dhcp is enabled so it will get automatically ip from my uh, bridge okay the one which i bridge you can make them net so it will get from net cloud ip we will type that ip and the username which is admin and password which we set first time and you can log in so it will ask you to change the username anyway it's come up here so it started the username is admin and enter there is no password enter now it's asking new password so i say one two three and confirm password one two three now it's come up it's a welcome and now i'm logging to 40 gate a uh, dash vm64 is written control a to clear the screen just to see now how i know that which ip it's get show system interface and question mark first interface dhcp is enabled not in other interface keep in mind that's why i um, say the first interface is my management one so port one there is ip address 100.192 from where is get the ip from my bridge interface because i make the first interface as a bridge you can make them net as well and bridge interface is i have i make the bridge interface my wi-fi look at this wi-fi and my wi-fi is using the same range 100 range in your case it can be different so don't follow my ip it can be different so if i come here and see so 100 is the range and there is a dhcp enable so it provide the ip first port okay so what is the ip 100.192 so the best way is to ping it it is pingable or not so go to command prompt and type 192.168.100.192 so it's pingable it means we can exit it so 100.192 go to any browser 192.168.100.192 keep in mind you have to use http https is not allowed window you don't have a license when you click it will say no secure connection is fail if you get the license it will show you but because you don't have a license this is the second disadvantage is to make them http and it will come up so the username was admin and password we set 123 okay sorry 123 and enter when first time you log in okay so what you say evaluation licenses expire <laughs> we didn't get even a evaluation license and it says expire so in vmware this is the only issue not in any other we will see in uh, gns3 as well so what you need to do you have to come back here again and execute system uh, what was the command i forgot Ex uh, system execute uh, restore i think so something was skipped from my mind factory reset sorry so you have to type execute factory reset again factory reset enter yes press while okay it will reboot and this time it will work so this is the way only in vmware workstation okay so don't worry if you are not using vmware uh, so the another one you need don't need to repeat this process the only issue is with the uh, vmware so just wait for a while it will boot again and again because i reset to factory so what will happen it will ask me again to reset the password it's just like i open it again so this is the way to deal with the vmware uh, image to install so it's come up now so username is admin there is no password enter new password one two three new password confirm one two three and now i can check by get system status sorry system status so this time i have a license you can see uh, expiry this the system status okay and every detail is here 
as x expanded to this 14 days only so we can see so now if i refresh this one either remove it get the same ip by the way so type again admin and password is 123 this time it will log in it will not ask you the okay it's not asking this time but this time it's asking you do you want to change the password and do you want to set the host name okay so if you say yes so begin if you want to say later so you can click later suppose yes so let me change the name to fg i give them the name host name device name now the device name is this one 40 gate dash vm 64 i change to fg means 40 gate let me make them one and okay now i'm logging and if you see enter so the name is changed now basically it was asking the host name from 40 gate vm to fg1 and it's showing here as well okay fg1 so this was the method to install uh, the okay now but basically i have 14 day license now this one is we have made evaluation license expire 10 8 to 20 okay so it will give you today is 26 so it's almost 14 days free license to do anything if uh, after 14 days you can import a new one and start up just take a backup and restore okay uh, if i miss something so let me go there no need to put a static ip we will discuss this one we ping them and we go to browser and login we change the name if you want okay and that's it this was the way to install fortigate firewall and vmware workstation